Hey everybody, um, I'm actually behind the camera again today. I wanted to show you guys um, some scholarship opportunities that you could use to apply for for trying to find funding for study abroad. This is probably the most top answer question, so I kind of wanted to answer it uh, for you guys and take you guys through a couple websites that have uh, study abroad scholarship opportunities. I will post um, a sheet uh, presented by Office of National Scholarships on my Facebook group and I'm also going to type up a separate sheet with all the um, due dates for these scholarships so you guys don't miss them because there's a lot of great opportunities there's actually a lot more scholarships than what I got what I could apply for last year and they just keep getting bigger and bigger every year so let's get started um, as you guys can see this website looks a little bit familiar it's the USF Education Abroad website the um, link for it is going to be education abroad.global.usf.edu and what this website does is it not only helps you apply for study abroad opportunities it also gives you scholarship opportunities as well so when you open up the website this is the first thing that you're gonna see the first thing that I recommend you do that we did in my last video is make sure you log in because if you don't log in um, it's gonna be a lot harder to navigate through without logging in so definitely log in I'm not gonna do that because I'm not applying for anything Next thing you're going to do is go over to the um, left hand bar where it says student. As you can see, this is my mouse and I'm going to click on student. Next thing I'm going to click on is I'm going to click on scholarships and funding. And what this resource is going to do is to tell you about certain scholarships that the Education Abroad Office is offering, some other uh, scholarships that you can look for, or it just gives you an additional search. So the first thing I'm going to click on um, is Education Abroad Administered Scholarships. I'm actually going to right click and put this on a new page for you. And what this is, is it's one application that you're going to fill out for a bunch of different scholarships. Um, Office of National Scholarships and, um, sorry, not Office of National Scholarships. Um, Education Abroad has partnered with a bunch of scholarship committees that want to give scholarships to students for study abroad. So instead of having to apply for apply for seven or eight different scholarships, filling out seven or eight different applications, they have it all set up into one application, so it makes it ten times easier for you. And how you're going to get to that application is you're going to click this Education Abroad Scholarship Application link, and it'll send you right to the application, and you would apply for it just like you would your study abroad program. The deadlines for those, uh, spring semester deadline is November 1st, and summer semester deadline is February 15th. So if you're applying for any of those periods, please keep that in mind. These are some of the scholarships that they offer underneath this application. You have the um, Ginshaft uh, Greenbaum Passport Scholarship Endowed Fund, the Ellsworth G. Simmons Scholarship for International Leadership, Joan Newcomb Study Abroad Scholarships, Luigi. Global Experience Scholarship, Mark and Kay Orr International Affairs Student Abroad Study Abroad Scholarship, Mark Orr Japanese Scholarship, and so many more. And if I continue to list them all, you probably get bored of me saying that. Keep in mind when you're applying for these scholarships, you're going into a pool of every student applying for USF Study Abroad. So the pool is going to be a little bit big. So keep that in mind too, and um, like I always say with scholarships, don't 100% depend on thinking you're going to get this money because you never really know what's going to happen, so always have a backup plan. I'm going to go back to the um, education, the uh, scholarships and funding section. I'm going to click on University Scholarships and Financial Aid. And it's going to come up here. It's just taking a minute. There are other opportunities to get funding besides applying for scholarships. First thing you can do is contact your financial aid department and see whether or not you'll get loans or what type of package you'll get for the summer. Because sometimes people do get uh, money for the summer and if you already have loans as it is, take out some more loans because it'll be, it'll be for a great cause and it'll be completely worth it. Now if you do receive scholarships I would recommend taking the scholarships first and then if you need extra money then apply for loans because keep in mind when you apply for your loans they have to go towards your study abroad program they're not going to go towards like any other thing they have to specifically go to your study abroad program or any type of classes that you're taking while you're over there 
Also, you can, if you have Florida prepaid, that's another option. Florida prepaid will pay for some study abroad. I will double check with the Florida prepaid program because I am not aware. I don't have Florida prepaid, so I'm not sure what their credentials are, but definitely contact uh, the Florida prepaid advisor or contact Florida prepaid themselves and see what the credentials and stuff are for. The next thing on the scholarships and funding page is I'm going to click on outside sources for scholarships and grants. I'm just waiting for that. This is a good resource to see what kind of other scholarships are out there that you can apply for that regard to study abroad. Keep in mind all of these scholarships do have um, eligibility requirements so I would definitely write those down and see if you fit within those uh, requirements. The scholarships that are posted on this page are offered by the Office of National Scholarships. There you will find out more information about the scholarships on this page. I'm not going to go through every all of them on that detail because like I said I would bore you to tears if I did that. So let's not do that. I am going to signal out one of them. One because they sponsor my channel and two this is a scholarship that I won. The Gilman Scholarship. The Gilman Scholarship is a really good scholarship to apply for because you have a lot of great opportunities. You can also do, you also do a follow-up project at the, at the end and I feel like with this scholarship it's the one scholarship that made me really consider myself. So it, all in all it's probably one of the best scholarships to apply for. If you win the scholarship you get up to five thousand dollars depending on what country you go to towards your tuition for your study abroad program. Some of the eligibility requirements are you have to be a Pell Grant recipient, you have to have already gotten the Pell Grant, you have to be going to a month-long program, it has to be a whole month, you have to follow, do the follow-up project at the end, you have to follow other deadlines and stuff like that for submission of alumni information, stuff like that. And you have to make sure that you follow up with them throughout your study abroad experience. Uh, the scholarship deadline for early admission for summer is going to be October 6th and for spring it's October 6th. If you are applying for summer 2016 uh, the deadline for that is going to be I want to say it's March 1st but if you check out my worksheets and stuff it'll show you the exact deadline because I can't think of it off the top of my head. Another really great scholarship to look into if you're considering going study abroad for language is the Critical Language Scholarship. I don't know much about this one, I'm just going to highlight it a little bit, but if you talk to Ms. Chambers in the Office of National Scholarships, she's actually spearheading this scholarship so she'll know a lot more information about it. And the deadline for this one is coming up really quickly, so if you are interested, I would recommend getting there as soon as possible. Another scholarship that is offered on the um, scholarships worksheet that I will be posting is the is the Foundation of Global Scholars. I have actually never heard of this one. According to the worksheet, you can get up to two thousand uh, dollars for undergraduates or graduate students studying abroad. It's uh, apply any year, three application cycles annually. So um, I might do a separate video on this to see what it's all about because I've actually never applied for it. So I just want to let you know that this is out there and it's a very good opportunity because money is money no matter where you get it from. <laughs> Next opportunity is the Fund for Education Abroad. This is a good one as well. I've never actually heard of this one either, so it'll be interesting. I'm going to def definitely get some more information on it for you guys because I'd like to know more about it too if I plan on doing a study abroad in the future. According to the worksheet, it says you can get up to $10,000 for undergraduate students for study abroad. You can apply any year in January for the upcoming summer, fall, or following spring. So the deadline is around January. So like I said, I'll take a little, uh, more look at it and see what I can find. The final scholarship that I'm going to um, show you guys is the Go Overseas Study and Intern Abroad Scholarship. Um, I don't know a lot about this one either because I didn't apply for it. So it uh, looks like the deadline for it is December 1st, 2015. So I would definitely consider that. And um, you get $500 for undergrad or graduate students to study abroad, apply any year, and it's cycles are annually. So it's definitely a really good scholarship. Like I said, money is money. The final one that I'm not going to pull up the website for is Phi Kappa 
Phi Kappa Phi Study Abroad Scholarship. Um, I'm sure you probably have to be a part of Phi Kappa Phi, so if you are a part of Phi Kappa Phi, I would definitely take a look at the scholarship. You could potentially get up to $1,000. Uh, for undergraduate students, you have to have a 3.75 GPA, and it's apply any year, and they have two application cycles. So definitely take a look into that as well. I'm going to head over back to our USF Education Abroad page. Also consider, too, you can find financing anywhere else. Um, may ask your family members for money. Uh, save money. I What I did was I pulled from my tax return. So when I got my tax return in, that covered majority of like my flight expenses and um, uh, can't even think right now. Uh, funding for when I was in the country. Also, the program that I applied for had a separate scholarship for up to a thousand dollars, so I applied for that. And then, since I applied for that but didn't get it, the um, financial aid department gave out grants, or it was I don't know if it was a financial aid department, but it was either the president of USF or something like that. They gave out grants, so I received a grant because my application was in and they looked at everything. The uh, Education Abroad Office, they try really hard to give as many students as possible scholarships. They want to see you guys succeed and they want you to go on those programs. So don't be afraid to ask them questions about any type of scholarship program or any type of way that you can get funding because you never know. Even the application that you fill out could be the application that gets you funding somewhere else that you didn't know existed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you a better idea of what kind of scholarships that are out there for study abroad. If you have any questions, please email me at inyourshoes15 at gmail.com and I'm more than happy to answer them. Also, a little announcement, I do have office hours now. Office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays from 5 to 7. If you're a USF student and need me to read your essay or talk to you in person about scholarships, I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Make sure if you're going to apply for office hours to uh, set up an appointment with me because it is by appointment base. If Usually if I don't have appointments, I don't keep it open, but sometimes depending on what day it is I do keep walk-in hours so definitely email me beforehand and we can meet up somewhere and I can definitely talk to you guys about some more scholarships and opportunities and maybe read some essays as well so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time bye